Hey guys, Coach Alana here. I just wanted to um, talk to you guys really quick today about um, what a coach is and what a coach is not. I think, you know, when we all first hear about this opportunity, the first thing is questions that we have about it and what the heck it is and <laughs> what it's really all about. So I just wanted to um, go over some of that stuff with you guys today so you can have a better idea of, you know, what beach body coaching really is. Um, so let's start with what a coach is not. Um, first of all, a coach does not have to be a fitness expert. You know, I know um, so many coaches, myself included, who came to this business um, at all different levels of fitness. You know, I was not overweight by any means when I became a coach, but I certainly wasn't in peak physical shape. And um, I think being on your own fitness journey as a coach is actually helpful. I think it, you know, allows you to relate to your clients and you know exactly what they're going through because you're going through it too. So another thing a coach is not is um, a fitness expert. You know, I think it's there's a lot of coaches out there who are personal trainers, who are nutritionists, group fitness instructors, all those things come from fitness backgrounds. Yeah, there's lots of coaches who do that. Um, there's also a ton of coaches who don't. <laughs> so you do not have to be a fitness expert or know, um, you know, a ton about fitness in order to be a coach. Uh, Beachbody has come together to, you know, create these amazing programs from top um you know, trainers and nutritionists from all over the world. And, you know, they are the experts and <laughs> they've been in the industry for a long time and they know what they're doing. And so you don't have to be the expert. Um, I've taken a lot of time as a coach to do my own research and um, read up on things so I can be the best coach I can possibly be. But I'm by no means an expert and it's definitely not a requirement. Um, something that you also don't have to have is, you know, no other job or no other obligations in your life. I know um, when I first became a coach, I was working 40 plus hours a week. I had a really long commute. I commuted about four hours total every day. Um, you know, had a husband and dogs and, you know, a life that I was trying to maintain. Um, so, you know, as a new coach, you can really get started in just about an hour a day. And for me as a new coach, that looked like you know, 10 minutes here and 15 minutes there and 20 minutes here, you know, it wasn't just a straight hour a day because I didn't have that, but I could break it down into um, smaller increments. Sorry about all the camera shaking. <laughs> um, into smaller increments throughout the day so that I could actually get all my stuff done. You know, I know coaches on the team who are moms and work full time and, um, you know, even a couple coaches who are moms and work full time and go to school and coach, you know, so I figure people like that can do it. Um, really, any of us can. I think it just comes down to um, wanting to make the time for it and being passionate about it. So um, something I coach is not, and I know this might be kind of a hard one to wrap your brain around, but um, is someone who's like a total fitness lover. <laughs> um, so I think it's very important as a coach to be passionate about helping others. Um, but, you know, I'm, I have grown to enjoy fitness a lot more as a coach, but I would not have called myself a total fitness lover um, when I became a coach. And it's funny because I've had conversations with some other coaches on the team who, um, you know, have similar backgrounds as me. My background is in the food service industry as a um, baker and a pastry chef. And I was actually talking to another coach who's the same. And she's like, I really don't like fitness that much. <laughs> um, but, you know, obviously we all know that eating healthy and getting, you know, daily exercise is important to us as, as human beings. So it is important to have those things in our lives. It is something that we all need. And, um, you know, coaching can be also an outlet for you to, um, to get yourself into a better position. Again, with the same other coach that I was talking about, you know, as a baker, she realized that she, um, you know, didn't want to work in the food service industry her whole life and wants to pursue baking and all that in different avenues, but not have it be, you know, her sole focus of income. So coaching allows her to add extra income to take the pressure off of um, something that she's really passionate about. And I think that's, 
you know, that's totally fine. This doesn't have to be like your fitness doesn't have to be your biggest passion in your life, but coaching can be an avenue for you to pursue other passions. Um, another thing that a coach is not is a salesperson. <laughs> um, that is a very big one that I always hear um, people say, oh, I don't want to sell. I don't want to be a salesperson. You guys, I am not a salesperson. Like, I couldn't sell ice to an Eskimo, to be honest. <laughs> um, you know, like, I'm I'm terrible at sales. Like, and I, and I don't want to be a salesperson. I mean, I really don't want to be a salesperson at all. And um, that was a big fear for me when I came to this business is like, I don't, I don't want to be selling to people that just feels icky. That's just, it's just not what I'm about. Um, and that is not what coaching is about at all. To be honest, I, I think the people who come in and are really only in it to try and sell and um, try and get money from people uh, don't do very well because they're inauthentic and, and people see that. Um, you know, what's important in this business is connecting with people and building relationships and talking about goals and really getting down to um, what someone wants and what um, they need and what's going to help them get to that next level in their life. And, you know, that's what you're there for as a coach. Yes, you're connecting them with a product, but you're asking them to invest in themselves more than just selling them a product that, you know, may or may not help them. Um, beach body programs are, you know, 110% proven. <laughs> like they, you can see it from anywhere. These programs really do work. Um, they're real, they're fitness and nutrition, a lifestyle change to get someone to, um, you know, live a happier, better, more fulfilling life. And, um, you know, if people do them, they work. So <laughs> it's not about trying to push a product on someone and just getting them to buy it just so you can make a sale. It's about truly helping someone change their life and change their lifestyle. Um, and the last thing that a coach is not is, you know, a big business person. That was something else that I wondered about. Like, I don't really have a background in fitness. I've never, or I mean, in business, I've never own my own business or been an entrepreneur or anything like that. And you really don't need to be, you know, um, our team provides so much training on how to handle your business. We, um, there's so much support for you in, in growing, growing a business that you, you learn to become an entrepreneur. You learn how to be, you know, a business person, but you do not need to have a big business or marketing background, um, to come into this. You don't need to have a giant network of people to talk to. I came in and I had like 200 Facebook friends and I don't know, 10 followers on Instagram or something. Um, these are things that you will learn how to grow over time. You'll learn how to make these new connections with, um, new people that, um, are going to be similar to you and, you know, that you're going to have things in common with and build those relationships. Um, so you do not have to have a big, big social network or a big business background. So those are things that coaches are not, um, you know, just really quick, like what a coach is, is a coach is, um, you know, a supporter, a coach is someone there to help someone through their journey. You know, I think so many of us are familiar with starting a fitness program and sticking with it for a week, two weeks, maybe even a couple months, and then inevitably you fall off and, you know, you're there as a coach to just help people. Um, that's the biggest thing is just keep them, you know, accountable, keep them, um, moving towards their goals and not letting them give up on themselves. And, you know, a lot of people don't have someone supporting them like that in their life. So you're there as their coach just to, to provide that support. Um, you know, also as a coach, you're working on your own health and fitness, obviously, <laughs> you know, like I said, even if it's not a big passion for you, we all do need fitness and nutrition in our lives, proper nutrition. And, um, so that is something that's very important to be working on. Um, another thing that you do as a coach is work on personal development. I know that, I know people are like, oh, is that all just reading a bunch of self-help crap? I'm like, <laughs> I was a little skeptical about it myself at first, but um, honestly, it just comes down to, you know, bettering yourself physically and mentally um, so that you can be the best you. I mean, who doesn't want to be better, happier, hitting goals, you know, more driven, um, more fulfilled in their life? I don't I don't know anyone who doesn't want that, I guess. Um, and as a coach, like personal development has really um, helped me change my mindset on a lot of things and um, really pushed me to be a better 
better in my life and I um I really enjoy it now I enjoy taking time to to work on me my my mental state um is just important to me as my physical and you know another thing a coach is is someone who like I said is just a relationship builder you're just um it's so important to just oh, there goes my earbud oh well. <laughs> um it's really important just to be out there connecting with people and building relationships um you know I've been so lucky to connect with people all over the country, all over the United States and Canada. I have coaches. I'm in Seattle, Washington myself, and I have coaches in my area. I have coaches in Georgia and California and Montana and Colorado. I have um, clients all over the place as well. And these are people who I never, you know, I consider them true friends of mine now. And um, we get to see each other a couple of times a year at coaching events and they feel like family. They feel like awesome friends that I've had my entire life. And really, we've um, mainly, you know, had uh, a friendship through social media. But uh, these are people that I never would have gotten to meet if I had no, hadn't become a coach. And with my clients as well, same, same thing. I have clients from all over the place, and I get to connect with these people and help them to live a better life. And I never would have gotten to meet them at all, probably, if I hadn't become a coach. So, yeah, so those are just a few things of what a coach is and what a coach is not. Um, you know, feel free to ask any questions if you need me to elaborate on that, but I hope that um, cleared some things up that you maybe were wondering about. All right, I look forward to chatting with you more.